Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about serial dilution and how to calculate CFU. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. Suppose you collect a sample of bacteria from your nearest sewage tank. Now I ask you to count the bacteria present in it. Is it possible? Yeah, it is. But how can you do that? So you can follow the serial dilution method. A serial dilution is the stepwise dilution of a substance in solution. And it is used to calculate the concentration of microorganisms. Since it is impossible to actually count the number of microorganisms in a sample, the sample is diluted and plated to get a reasonable number of colonies to count. Okay, so here is the simple technique we have. So here we have the sample. So that we have collected from sewage. Apart from this, we need to collect some test tubes and petri dishes. So in this example, we are using six such test tubes. In each tube, we have 9 ml of fresh broth to culture bacteria. From this, we will take 1 ml sample and put it here in 9 ml broth. That means the dilution is 1 by 10, that is 10 to the power minus 1. Again, we will take 1 ml of sample from tube 1 and put it here in 9 ml broth in tube 2. That means the dilution is 1 by 100 that is 10 to the power minus 2. Again, we will take 1 ml culture from tube 2 and put it here in 9 ml broth in tube 3. That means the dilution is 1 by 10 to the power 3 that is 10 to the power minus 3. Again we will take 1 ml culture from tube 3 and put it here in 9 ml broth in tube 4. That means the dilution is 1 by 10 to the power 4 that means 10 to the power minus 4. Again we will take 1 ml culture from this tube 4 and put it here in 9 ml broth in tube 5. That means the dilution is 1 by 10 to the power 5. That means 10 to the power minus 5. Again we will take 1 ml culture from this tube 5 and put it here in 9 ml broth in tube 6. That means the dilution is 1 by 10 to the power 6 that means 10 to the power minus 6. Next we will plate them in petri dishes uh, to generate colonies. So from each tube we will take 1 ml culture and put it in petri dishes like that. Now you can see the result. So in these two plates, we have too many colonies, right? So we are not going to count them. In plate 3, we have 17 colonies. In plate 4, we have 13 colonies. In plate 5, we have 3 colonies. And in plate 6, we have 1 colony. Now we can count the cells. So if we choose this plate, here we have 17 colonies, right? And here the dilution factor is 10 to the power 3. Since 
we have diluted the original sample thousand times, right? Okay, so we will just multiply 17 with 10 to the power 3. And the answer is 17,000. That means 17,000 bacterial cells are present per ml of original sample. It is also called CFU or colony forming units. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you understood the lesson. Thank you.